Okay, we're going to look at expanding another one, another kind of equation. In this case, I threw a zero in there just because why not? Um, again, if we're not going to actually solve for y in this case, we just want to expand this term out. So what do we got? We got 6y minus 3, all of that squared. So all of that in brackets, squared. In fact, let's write it out. 6y minus 3, all squared, equal to 0. And we want to expand this out. Well, how are we going to do that? I mean, 6y minus 3 squared, okay. Think normal. Again, okay, variables don't matter. Math is always the same. What would 3 squared be? Well, when you think about it, it's 3 times 3, which we know is equal to 9, but it's 3 times 3. So 6y minus 3 squared is 6y minus 3 times 6y minus 3. So at least I can write this out, maybe in a way that I can understand it better, or at least see it a little bit better. And remember, that's all equal to 0 still. Well now, we're just doing that same expansion, where I take the, what's in my first bracket and multiply it by everything in the second bracket. So 6y will be multiplied by 6y and by 3. 3, or minus 3, is going to be multiplied by 6y and minus 3. So what do we get? So write it all out. 6y times 6y, and then 6y times minus 3. Ah, well that gives minus 6y times 3, since it's minus 3. Now minus 3 times everything in a second bracket. And you can see this is actually going to be very similar. This is going to be the same term as we just got, because it's minus 3 times 6y. Order doesn't matter. Those should be the same. And finally, minus 3 times minus 3, minus times a minus is a plus. So 3 times 3. All this equal to 0. So what do we got? 6y times 6y, or 36y squared. 6y times 3. Well, we get 18y, and this is the same thing, so we're going to get another 18y. And finally, 3 times 3, or 9, which we were just talking about, actually. Happy coincidence. And now, again, we combine certain terms. What terms can we combine? Only those with variables to the same power. Same variable, same power. x and y would not be able to be combined, but 18y, 18y can. So 36y squared stays the same, and then we get actually 18, and 18 makes 36 again. All plus 9 equal to 0. And this is what is known as a quadratic equation. We're going to look later at solving this for y, but for this one we are just looking at expanding out that term and getting this line, so we're all done.